Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project e post office. So first let us extract this file. You can see that the file is being extracted and you can see the folder post office and this has got database backup file which includes the SQL file and the project report which includes the synopsis system design and the SRS and source code includes all the PHP files. This is required for the execution of the program. Now let us copy this source code and paste it in C drive under XAMPP folder inside XAMPP folder in htdocs folder. So I have installed XAMPP in C drive if wherever you have installed XAMPP paste it in that drive. So once it is pasted you can see the folder source code inside the htdocs folder. Now let us open XAMPP control panel and let's start Apache and MySQL server. So we can see Apache and MySQL server is running. Now let us open the browser and type localhost slash source code. So this is the project ePost office. The main objective of this project is to develop a web based application for post office. This helps management and their customers. It handles all types of transaction details of the post office and this project will reduce the clerical work as most of the work will be done by the computer. And customers can directly view all transactions details without visiting post office. We can see the contact information of the post office and it also has the admin login, customer login panels. Now let us import the database. Open the browser and type localhost php myadmin. This will open the MySQL server. So this is the MySQL server and in databases we can create the database. Remember the database name must be same as the database backup file that is SQL file whatever you have. Once the database is created click on import and click on choose file. From choose file, import the post office SQL file and click on go. So this might take some time to import. The so once, this, once it is imported, you can see all the tables that is present in the database post office. So you can see there are 15 tables. So now on refreshing, we can see the website. Now let us log in as admin. The admin must log in by using the login ID and the password. Once the admin logs in, the admin dashboard is available. And in admin profile, the profiles can be updated and in change password, the admin can make changes to their password under add admin the admin can add the other admins or employees here the admin must mention the admin name login id password confirm password and user type here the user type is either admin or employee must select the status as active and clicking on submit the admin record will be inserted and under view admin the various different admins and employees of the website can be viewed. In money order under add money transfer here the admin can make money transfer to particular customer. Here the admin must mention the to address and from address of the customer and the money transfer date and the amount to be trans transferred and the commission for transfer of the amount will be generated and once the money is transferred the receipt is printed which can be printed in view transfer the various transfers done by the admin can be viewed here the admin also has an action to delete In account master under RD settings, 
here the admin can view the various rd settings that is uh, four years plans or five years plans eight year pl plans so these can be viewed here along with the percentages and the documents required and the account procedures and what is the maximum year of the rd that must be mentioned and in add new the admin can add the new rd details in sb setting the sb account settings can be done and in ssa setting the ssa account records can be viewed in td setting the td plans can be viewed here and on clicking on action that is view it can be viewed in a table manner under insurance in add insurance the admin can add the insurance types and in view insurance type various insurance types can be viewed it can be a uh, life insurance or health insurance in add insurance here the admin can add the insurance for the different customers so here there is an age limit for the insurance so the children cannot have the insurance policies here only the adults can have so we can see that the customer of the age 34 years old can enroll in a insurance and here the amount minimum amount and maximum amount of the insurance can be viewed between this amount the customer can enroll in any of the insurance policies and the premium type must be mentioned and the nominee must be mentioned and what is the relationship with the nominee must also be mentioned and then the admin can create the policy for that particular customer under view insurance type the various insurances can be viewed and under view insurance the different insurance accounts of the customers can be viewed by the customer viewed by the admin so here we can view the insurances which are added by us now under add insurance payment the payment of the insurance can be made here and in view payment the payment made by the customers can be viewed under add customer here the admin can add the customers and in view customer record the admin can view the customers admin also has an action to edit or delete the customers in add account the admin can add an account of the customer by selecting the account type customer name then the account open date and account close date and then the nominee must be mentioned and what is the relationship with the nominee must also be mentioned so it is added it can be viewed under view account so here various customer accounts can be viewed that mean can also delete the customer accounts add bill payment record here the bill payments can be added 
and in view bill payment the various bills added by by various customers can be viewed here in consignment record the admin can add the consignment details and in view consignment if there are any consignments to be tracked that can be viewed here and using the consignment number the customers can track the consignments in add transaction record the admin can add the transactions and in view transaction admin can view the transaction so in view transaction the admin can view the transactions let's log out from admin now let us register as customer the customer must register by mentioning the customer name date of birth customer address mobile number as well as the login id password and confirm password along with that the email id must also be mentioned Once the customer is registered successfully he can log in using the customer login the customer must log in by using the login id and the password once the customer logs in the customer dashboard is available in customer profile the profile can be changed updated and in change password the customer can update his password in create here the account can be created for the customer now let us log out from this new customer and let us log in as the existing customer the customer must log in using the login id and password so once the customer logs in the customer dashboard is available and in customer profile the customer can make changes to his profile and in change password the customer can make the changes to his password in create now we can see the customer is not eligible to create new account that is because this customer has already created sufficient accounts in view accounts we can see the customer has got four accounts and in view transactions we can view all the transactions that is done by the customer and here he must choose his account number and then choose he can view the transactions done by him and he can also click on delete to delete any transaction in add bill payment the customer can make the bill payment it can be an electricity bill water bill anything and in view bill payment the customer can view the bill payments made by him in money order the customer can transfer the money to different other customers here the customer must choose the name of the customer he want to transfer the money there from address pin code mobile number to address pin code and mobile number must be chosen then the money transfer date must be selected and the amount to be transferred must be selected and then the transaction type must be selected there is a two options sb account and card payment in choosing the card payment the payment type card number cv number and expiry date must be selected so on clicking on submit money transfer will be done here we can see that card number should be 16 digits and once the money transfer is successful the money transfer receipt is available which can also be printed this is available with the customer name and the detail of the money transfer in view money transfer the customer can view the various money transfers done by him and in consignment using the consignment number the consignments can be tracked so this is about the customer panel now let us log out from the customer So this is about the project e post office thank you for watching the video for any queries kindly visit our website thank you